Sairam. <coughs> okay, uh, we finally reached uh, Korale. This is actually a place where Viniyama um, built because of her experience when she was uh, doing, you know, she was walking for the procession and she decided to build this place to help all those people who are in the Palki procession going towards Shirdi. So they will walk through here. It's quite far, the distance is quite far. It's an old, um, it's a road that goes to the airport actually. So it's quite far distance. So in her experience, if you have seen her video, she would have uh, mentioned that she had issues with her, her medicine was being stolen, her shoes were missing, and then she had blisters on her leg. So she decided, uh, you know, let's do this, create a place so that when along the way, the party procession, people can have a rest here. So she did this beautifully. And uh, this is actually a hall. It's called Radha Krishna Mai Hall, where it is for the Palki procession people to take their rest here, so they can see here. It's very, very, very beautiful. Okay. So thanks to uh, Vinima, we have this place here where people can rest. It is. I I, I feel so honored knowing her and that she does this. It's so, so good. We have a picture of Baba here in this uh, hall. It's very nice. So she has everything thought out because it's not easy. The, the distance is quite far. We took the auto is quite far and to walk all the way to Mandir. Okay, they go by groups. There's a paduka here. This is Baba's picture. This picture was actually when he was uh, on the way to Landibak in... Uh, the Krishna pose is very, very beautiful. So, why this place? Why Korali? What's the significance of it? I'm going to show you something right now. Give me a second. This place consists of Baba's Padukas, where um, this is an actual imprint of Baba's uh, food that is being given to uh, Viniyama here, uh, and it is kept here. Okay, um, honestly, the vibration is very strong. I'm a bit speechless because this is the actual imprint of Baba's foot here, Om Saira. At the Palki Road, near to the Chavadi, there's actually a, a section by the side. I will put it together in this video where um, Baba would uh, be at this one side of the place and he will stand. He will stand there and then he will actually, um, you know, it's, it's along with the Biksha houses, it's one of the side there he will stand. When he collect the Biksha from all these five houses, um, he will come to this area at the Palki Road and then he will stand here on this stone. So this is the actual imprint of his foot, our Baba's foot. Yeah? Oh, sorry, um, so you see Baba don't wear chapal, don't wear anything. So when he stands it imprints that. And if you see here, there's a hole here. What is this for? When Baba collect all the big shah, he will Put it inside here, whether it's liquid, whatever that he received from the five houses, the big shah houses, he'll put inside here. Baba will stand here. You can imagine Baba standing here. His footprint is here. He'll be standing and then he will be feeding the dogs. The dogs, there's a lot of dogs that will be around here, all these feet dogs, right? This is where it is. So this was uh, given to Viniyama so she cannot just keep the paduka just like that because it is of Saina um, foot, actual footprint. So what she does, she needs to have a proper place because it's our Bhagwan's foot, right? So she created this place. Uh, it is called the uh, Karali Temple. A, a small one is still, we, uh, um, 
Medium is still building it as well. So it also turns into a place where beside there, there's the Krishna, uh, sorry, rather Krishna my um, hall for the uh, party procession people to sleep and rest as well. So it is it, such a big blessing they decided when they wanted to renovate that place because there's a building right now there. They decided to give to Amma. Who would even thought that, you know, it's such a big blessing. I think because she has done a lot of good, she has been doing a lot of good, uh, ensuring and uh, um, conserving Baba's history. So it was given to her. Um, I really feel so honored being here. Um, I'll, I'll put some pictures and um, later on, I will also show you the place where Baba stood, which actually was this this particular footprint of our Zainat. I'm not sure if you can see what I see. His toes. I'm controlling my tears. Okay. So. Um, what a journey but anyway uh, I will combine this together with the place later on so that you can see uh, where Baba stands but at the moment this is what you see ok I have to control my pieces now but anyway my gratitude was so so abundant to Vinyama for having this aside of uh, conserving Baba's treasure, Baba's history and making sure that we also pass it down to everyone. Um, you see, to maintain a place is not easy. She doesn't have to, uh, you know, like take a donation, but what she does... Thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. What, what she does is that she writes books. So, if you were to write, buy her books, which consists a lot of love for Baba, she's a breathing... Uh, she's breathing Shirdi basically, you know, in her mind is all the Swedish Baba. She talks like as if you know Baba is her pal, her best friend. So you just need to probably help her, not by donation, but get her books. So this will help this place to run, help all these villagers who come to the Palki. I see every single day so many of them, more than 50 in a group. So when they walk, you see it's quite far so they have this place to rest so and also we also have Baba Padukas here original actual so this is the way to help okay the donation goes straight here it's not a donation I would say it's through the book and the book is your treasure you read you understand you live what Baba um, you pretty much live through what Baba went through. So it is very, very important that we at least buy, promote it to your friends. So uh, I would want to also preserve Baba's history. Our next generation need to know about Baba. The most authentic thing about Baba is extremely important. It's best that the history is not distorted, it's not changed, it's not being um, change for benefit of other people, it should be authentic. We are talking about Bhagawan who manifested on earth, who decided to be here instead, instead of, you know, can just be anywhere else. So, Jay Sairam from Korali with love. Um, so, I will continue uh, on this video as well. I will put uh, another continuation to show the actual place where they found uh, where the Paduka used to be, where Baba used to feed dog. I'll tell a little bit story from there. Okay. This I Ram, take care. Have a blessed day. This I Ram, today we went to Korale and saw Baba's Padam at the Palki Road where Baba stood uh, after he went to the Five Big Shah House and feed the dog, right? So we will start our journey from here. I'll show you where it was uh, taken from. This is Dwara Kamai. So from Dwara Kamai, we're going to walk until Chavadi.
So this is the Chavadi is here. We walk further up. When we walk further up, we will see the two big char house previously, which is now one is the Punami uh, restaurant. That is on the left and on the right is the Krishna Enterprise. So when you see this, you need to walk straight. We need to walk straight. Okay, walk for the street and then you will see the um, art gallery, Sai Baba's art gallery on your left. Go further. You will see this restaurant. Uh, I think it's a tea shop. And on your right, you will see a silk and sari shop. This is actually where it was found. So this is the corner here. Where Baba used to stand right, right here. So the garden was found actually right here. Where last time he used to stand uh, on uh, that, that stone that is now at Koralu that we saw today and when he stood on top that's how his uh, foot was in print and this is where you can imagine he's standing right here at this crossroad and feeding all the dogs so this is where it's found so if you were to turn from here let's say you're standing here you can see around this area right here uh, it's right in front of this hotel uh, Tukaran Hotel and Sisai Manish uh, Hotel. So that is where the padam was found. So when they wanted to do the renovation here, that was given to Vinima to uh, keep. So that's why, that's how the Korale Temple was actually uh, there. Because you cannot just simply put a padam there. But you must have a proper place because that is Baba's Paduka. His footprint is in print there. And it's a piece of history which is very, very important. Okay? So if you're in Shredi, I hope you can find a place so you can relate on it. And that's all. I I hope this is an important piece that when you come to Shredi, make sure you find it. Alright? This I right.